Oh, my name is Mukhtar uh, Muhammad. Um, I'm from Ethiopia. My life was not in a city. So I, bought, I grew up in the countryside, so I don't know the city. Uh, uh, sometimes uh, I go to school there in a, in a community, learn uh, uh, Arabic language and then Quran, and then uh, I support my family. The, every, everywhere is this farmer there in, in, in a countryside. So it's, in the seven days, in the seven days, there, there is war, uh, as there is a problem with the government over there. So a lot of people protest, and then uh, mostly uh, students. They start, and then the government start uh, punishing them, and then most of them escape and then to go somewhere else. And they went to first, and then uh, Djibouti, in a tiny country in the Mediterranean. I was with them too, with those group of students. Uh, and then I stayed there for about two years. And then we got opportunity to, to go somewhere, and they, there is a, a they opened the office of the United Nations over there, and, there. and then we registered our, our name there, and then we got interview, and then by, by people representing the United Nations office there. I got a chance to go to Egypt. I stayed there in Egypt for about five, six years there, and then, uh, and then another opportunity arrived there with a student, and uh, people through the United Nations, we have their office over there, service, uh, helping the people over there. And then uh, uh, if you want to go somewhere in the West, America, Australia, uh, you have to uh, put the application and then you have to have an interview with the, with the embassy uh, that represents that, that country. I went to American embassy in Egypt there and then they interviewed me in Arabic. So answer all the questions over there and then finally, and then uh, they say you're okay and then, and then you can go to America. I don't know the language, not even. I don't study English in my country, so I, have, I don't know any English. So I just interview in Arabic, and then I did, and then they, we hesitated at that time, and then they said they said that uh, when, when we have to leave. We so said to come to, to, to Minnesota, first state. I like Minnesota since then. I'm here. I haven't been to any state. I've been in St. Paul for almost 20 some years. In St. Paul here, how oh, it is quiet, it is very daily, and you know, it's not like Minneapolis, some of life, it's kind of not, not just, not just, yeah, it's just, it's a, I fit in a, in a, in a community. So I feel, I feel like you have been here for more than I, I lived in Minnesota, more than I left in my own country. So. There is, at that time, we, uh, we have, uh, there's two people, they call us a sponsor, a sponsor. So, so one is from Ethiopia. One is from uh, from America here. They got me from uh, from an airport, and then they they gave me a shelter and they gave me food. And then after, after two, I went to uh, start going to school over there. I didn't know any English, no, not even none. I can't read any word there. Then I started going to school there, and then I, English as second language. The place called Half Center. I went there, and then I finished there. I graduated from from there. And then after a while, and then I went to St. Paul College for two years. Then my program is was LPN. It was very tough for me because I'm working and family there. And then uh, I started going to school so, from uh, since then, since uh, from that point to now. So working, supporting my kids. So my kids is probably most of them in a college. So I have uh, yeah five of them. So five of them. I let my my family, my kids better than me. To all get education, to do what they need to survive. Yeah, they are, they are, they are, they are very smart kids. You know, they are, they are. I told them at the beginning, yeah, yeah I'm poor man, so I don't have much money to support you at the college. I can provide the food for you and the shelter for you finally, and then uh, you have to work and then uh, be smart. Well, this is, this is my story. My story it is, you know, this is life story. It's a lot, so it's not just enough for five minutes.